This is fire. I love this. Dad told me that he told you. A bug just flew in my eyeball. <laughs> Buddy, da, say do you remember? You can get your own drink. I'm hungry. So can I like practice driving on this car? Uh, Good morning, everybody. I am at a hotel room in Tallahassee, Florida, because I'm here to visit Brennan. If you didn't see yesterday's video, I took him to dinner at, uh, last night and we met his, well, you've met his roommate before, but then we met two of his other friends and his other friend's mom was in town. So we had a great time at dinner last night and it's so nice to be able to meet Brennan's friends um, who otherwise I wouldn't have been able to meet. Um, you know, I know his friends from high school and middle school and elementary school, but it's nice to meet his college friends too. So um, I'm gonna go take him to breakfast and then drop him off at class and then head on up to North Carolina um, on my way home. So hopefully you'll see Brennan at breakfast. I am just, I just wanna savor all the time I can with him, but I also know that he's here to be at school and be independent. So I'm certainly not inserting myself, just, um, just giving him some love and some cash. <laughs> so I don't know how much fresh fruit and vegetables Brennan is getting while he's here. So I brought him some blueberries and I cut him. This is actually Nana left me some of these. So I cut them up and brought them for him. They are cut up peppers and cucumbers. So um, I know that their diets aren't very rich in that I don't think here at college. He says that the food is pretty bad at, the, um, at his dorm. So I don't know. Um, here, here he comes. Whoops. There he is. Hey, Brennan. I'm just telling everybody about how. Do you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables? Um, like right now or just like in general? Well, I know in general you do, but like at school. I would say a fair amount. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Alright you guys, well Brendan and I had a fantastic breakfast and then I picked him up, I dropped him off at class, picked him up again after class and took him back to his dormitory and it was just such an amazing, great visit, just filled my heart. So happy to have seen him. I spent the next, that, that afternoon driving to North Carolina, spent the evening with my brother and then spent today driving back home. So I am just about home and Katie and Ryan have not yet seen the car, nor has Mike. So hopefully I'll get their reaction when they see the car. I have to say it drove beautifully. I listened to Hamilton. I listened to some podcasts. Um, I sat with my own thoughts. It was a long drive, but super duper fun. So it doesn't seem like it was three days and it doesn't seem like it was that long at all. So I really enjoyed this like sort of independent time. All right, so I'm gonna go home now and hopefully, um, I don't know if, if Katie's gonna be home. She's on her way to uh, pole vault, I think, but, but I might get there before she leaves. So we'll see if we can find her. I think Ryan's out playing with his friends, so I might run into him too. All right, I made it home and it's a quick turn. I forgot that I'm volunteering at the high school tonight to sell merchandise at the soccer game or field hockey game or something like that. So I don't get to show Ryan the car, I don't think. Maybe I will get to. Mike, I've left it here. Mike's gonna take the car um, with Katie because he's gonna take her to pole vault. So they're gonna take the car uh, to pole vault practice. They'll pick up Arden, so maybe they'll film that. And then I'm gonna go over to my volunteer duty and then see Ryan when we get back. And it might be dark when he sees the car, but nevertheless, I think he's going to love it. So I'm- Well, Chili just got home uh, and uh, got a little something right there. Oh, looks like Katie's home. Let's get her reaction on the new vehicle. Oh, good looking car. Oh, a light interior. A bug just flew in my eyeball. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. Now looky here. Leather, nice light interior. Cool car. It's fantastic. So we have to get to DC in 30 minutes. Okay, we can do that. What? Do you, um, think, the, do you think the Honda Pilot can do that? Do I have a key? Nice. Oh, I do have a key. Okay, hold this, please. Look, our first ever push to start car. Hey! Are you Move on up, Kate. Are you excited? Start, here we go. Wow. I'll do the art. Yeah. <gasps> Automatic seat moving. It's pulling in because it's mom's uh, seat position. Pretty cool. 
disclaimer. Excellent. Wow. Here we go. Moving on up. Ooh, it's big. Do you like it? I do. Oh my gosh. Hi, handsome boy. How are you? Guess who bought you a new collar? Yes, I did. How are you, sweet boy? This is Edward, you guys. Oh my gosh, I missed you. Let's go in and snuggle. Come on, let's go in. Ryan's inside. He's making chocolate chip cookies, which I know you wouldn't eat, but we can give you a treat too. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Hello. Chocolate chip cookies! Excellent. Ryan, look what I bought for you. Oh, thank you. An agenda! Thank You're thanks. welcome. Wow, you are. Is this your second batch this week? Second batch this week. You are on it, man. Dad told me that he told you that we got something new. I tried to play it off on the phone. <laughs> like you didn't know? Because Dad said act surprised. <gasps> oh. But I've been dying to see it this whole week. I was, sh you don't know how close I was to running out there and trying a flashlight. <laughs> it's not out there right now because I drove my bug. Dad took it and Katie to, um, to pull vault. Mm. Yes. Mm. Hi, buddy, buddy, buddy. He's got his, oh, gee, sorry. Oh, look how cute he is. So this is the question. Do you want to see it tonight? Or like going to school tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know, you know. No. Let's go for a little ride. We'll go for a ride. Let's go. I'll take you for a ride. Where do you nice. want to go? We can go to Chick Fil A and get a milkshake. Oh. What time do they close though? I don't know. We'll pair all the cookies. That's the question. Milk. Milk. Do we have milk? We have milk. Okay. Hmm. So we don't need to get any of that. Do we have ice cream. Let's go to let's go to the grocery store and get ice cream. Yeah, no, no. Now, Dad said we can only spend $100 a week on groceries. Do you think right. that that fits in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have some left over from this week? Money, I mean? Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Dad said that, and then later that night, he came out and threw us packets of uh, um, peanut M&Ms. <laughs> okay, I think he might just be... I was like, dog. <laughs> I think he's just trying to bring awareness to yeah. spending I think you um, efficiently. You guys and then I'll get an extra 25 for my... You know, for what exactly for what i want to eat exactly oh, okay no. okay cool all right well they'll be home any minute now all right well do you want to go look at it now yeah no, you can go mom look. can you please give me some more chicken katie no, wait, you can get your own chicken i'm so hungry okay. it's right there dad Please. give me one slice but katie, you can get your own god give you legs that's right use them all right let's go look it's not bad are you kidding me look at it it looks nice in the dark <laughs> it's in the dark, right? We right. were telling Ryan that it's an older car and it's not really what we had wanted. Because um, he was expecting it to be amazing. Because they, they brought a, a really nice new car that, we, that they test drove here. So mom totally gave away the kind of car, by the way, too. I didn't even know it was a Honda Odyssey. And then she was like, it's a Which is a minivan. So we told him about the minivan. It's a minivan. How about it? Hey, look. Hey, it's it not has really a minivan. Start button. We haven't had that yet. That's this is hard. not a Honda Odyssey, you goofball. It's oh, a not. Honda Pilot. <laughs> I was like, dude, there's no way. It's a Honda Pilot. She was totally teasing you. Get in the get in the in the passenger seat for a second. I was like, <laughs> dog. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't get any dirt in my car. Okay, yeah, I can't believe you guys would trick me like that. I saw it and I was like, that's not an Odyssey. They didn't. <laughs> I was it. like, I was like, I was looking at it and I was like, it's so nice, but Katie really watered it down on the inside, so I bet I'm gonna climb inside in a second of you. And then I got in and saw the engine start to stop, and I was like, no way an older car has that. <laughs> and I was like, and I looked at this and I was like, no way an older car. Oh my gosh, it's not that. Can you smell how new it is? I can smell. Did you guys bring it? You no. Okay. No, it's not. But it was hardly but ever driven before. And it's in huge. great shape. So there's three rows. It only has 400 miles on it. That's no, crazy. that was... No, that's the range of how much gas we have left. It oh, has, obviously, yeah. Now it has 17,000 miles on it. Holy cow. This is... 
quite sure. Well, you should sit in the back seat where you're actually going to sit because it is so comfortable. I, I mean, you can sit, right, I mean, right. Unless but like, I call a shotgun. Well, when we're on a family trip, will you turn yeah. the lights on back there too, baby? I will. Holy cow, I love it back here. Chill on me, dog. Oh, it's just this. The CRV was so bad. I'm so <laughs> glad we have an actual car. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it has a third row. It it's does. What we needed. I know. So, can I like practice driving on this car? Boop. Uh, that's the thing. I don't know. This is kind of my luxury car, so I'm not sure. You were, Maybe. I said pilot and you didn't take that. I feel like you didn't respond well to it, by the way, when we were talking about cars. Yeah, I might have been teasing. Might have been teasing. I know. Ah, and it's white so on the cool. outside and beige on the inside. And it's got the, and it's got USB yes, cords. Yes, USB cords for you How guys. About it? And then look at this. Look at the, the cup holders right here are so clutch. And there's some in the middle. Because the, oh yeah. Because the CRV, no cup holders. There's oh, two there, oh and then there's two two on each door. Oh my Isn't that gosh. crazy? And you know what was so clutch? So, when we used to go on road trips, it would be Brennan and Katie up here, and I'd always call the back. The back was so nice, but I was kind of jealous of up here, because Katie and Brennan were, like, talking and stuff. But, um, I'm so glad we have a third row again, because uh -huh. then if we ever do a trip again, it'll be Katie up here. And me getting the whole back seat. Yes. Well, unless Brennan's with us, then it'll be. Well, yeah. Brennan won't be with us. Yes, he will. No, he won't. Yes, he will. He'll just fly wherever we're going. No, he'll come with vacation. us. Because especially like when we go to the Outer Banks and stuff in the summertime. Right. Pack her up oh, and go. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me preview the insane car naps that I have. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't want to get my feet on the windows. Yeah, right. yes. And don't drool on my new seats. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is fire. I love this. You like it? Here, let me just drive you up. Let me drive you up to the, up to the park. Do the clubs fit in the whack? Oh, the yeah. Back? Okay, good. Oh, yeah. But that's all I needed. Exactly. Yeah. Also, mom was talking to me on the phone with Apple CarPlay in the on the way. Watch this. Because, and I was like, no way an older Odyssey hat. Bro, Joe! It remembers where I sit. Bro! So you can like set your, mm -hmm. you're like, hey yo, Jill's driving, mm -hmm. boom, mm -hmm. and don't, bam. Don't even think about setting it for you. <laughs> oh, I'm setting it for me. <laughs> oh, oh, we just ride smoothly. How is it driving, mom? Very nice. What do you think? Do you feel I good? Like it. I feel good. I feel good if you're feeling good. Feeling How's good. the mirror? Yeah, I feel good about that. Oh my gosh, we already have the, the, the garage things in yeah, it. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. Ah, we're going to enjoy this car for a little bit. See you guys. I love you. PYT, pretty young thing. Body out. Dancing in September. Golden dreams were shiny days. All right, it's time to crawl into bed. Let's go, homies. All right. Yeah. Instead, I'm crawling into. What'd you say? What? Oh, oh, we're on the, um, Ryan's bunk bed. I'm no, sorry, oh, no. bean bag. Bean bag is what I meant to say. <clears throat> Ryan, what, what made you happy, today, baby? Um, uh, your head looks so much bigger than mine. Look at, is it because you're forward and I'm back? Yeah. How about? Definitely. Okay, yeah. now mine's bigger. Yeah. Now I feel like I have a small head. So maybe uh, we should no, be on the same no. plane. What? Uh, what made me happy today was getting a new car. Yay. Even though, I mean, it's not mine, but you know, I get to ride in it. <laughs> so let's be very clear. We were teasing Ryan. So Katie and dad went on a ride in the car because they went to pull up practice, mm -hmm. came back. And so then Ryan was home and I said, hey, did you like the car? And Kate starts out with, yeah. And then she went to, no, actually, it's kind of old and kind of yucky. And it's like a station wagon. And it's a, so she was and trying I to was, tease Yeah, him. I was so excited the whole week. And then they really watered it down. And then when I saw it, I was surprised. But I was less surprised than I would have Oh, been. so maybe we shouldn't have teased Which you. Which kind of stinks. But you still like it. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. great. I love it. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, that's what made me happy today. Uh, I forget what I did at school. Oh, yeah. I went... Um, when I got home... I no, yeah, when I got home I watched a thing on the history of Vikings and the F fifteen. Cool. Which is fire. Was that the same show? No, two different <laughs> shows. <laughs> okay. It's the history of Vikings and, and their ships and then another show was about the F fifteen.
That's pretty cool. Running against the Soviet Union MiG-29s, which was fine. Do you know what I did? So I listened to Mike Rowe today, and it's called, he does a podcast called, um, That's the Way I Heard It. That's the way I heard it. He talked today about this guy, it was the most recent one, about this guy who's the human calculator. And he can add numbers. Okay, a few things. You guys, I totally recommend you go listen to this. And I want you to listen to this because I think you would absolutely love it. Okay. I already sent it to Dad because I know he loves numbers. So basically, long boring story short, it wasn't boring at all, actually. <laughs> short story is he's a human calculator. He can add, subtract, divide numbers like faster than a calculator. That's crazy. But also, he has found a relationship. Every number has a relationship to nine. Every number. For example, 11. Ew, ew, ew. 1 plus 1 is 2. Like, if you take 11, you add 1 plus 1 is 2. What's that? And then you take 11 minus 2 is 9. That's cap. There's no way. Give me another. No, it's not cap. Give me give me a two-digit number. Oh, so it's not all numbers. It's just yeah. two-digit numbers. No, no, no. You, you could do three-digit, but two-digit is easier for me to add and, go, what, what that, do you mean? Right. and subtract and stuff. So give right. me a two-digit number. 1789. What? 79. 79. 7 plus 9 is 16. 79 minus 16 is 63. 63 divided by 7 is 9. Every number comes out to a 9. Also, he said, this is the other thing he said, and I think this is really cool, and I'm totally up for this. He said that he is on a mission to change the calendar. He said there should be... 13 months, 13 28 day months. Do you realize that if there were 13 months, they would all be 28 days exactly? That's hard. Right? And he said it would be better for like our biological clock and all that stuff yeah, because he said, like, also, for example, like the fifth of the month, let's say, would always be a Monday. The yeah. sixth of the month is always a Tuesday. So it makes it easier to like fathom what is right. like count backwards count forwards I never organize which, your life i never know which month has a 31st day right um by the way it, this is a good thing to comment or a good question to ask if you if there's an extra month what would you name it jilber <laughs> jiltember <laughs> rytober rytober that's pretty good yeah mm. That works. So I highly recommend you guys take a look at Mike Rose. That's the way I heard it. That's the way I heard it. Yep. He also, I will say, the same guy is, um, he, there's a little controversy because he says that basketball was invented in Herkimer, New York, but the Basketball Hall of Fame is actually in Springfield, Massachusetts. Yeah. But there's a controversy if the guy who they claim actually invented basketball really did. Uh, and there's like a like keep in mind. I like I think something big's gonna come out about that soon. I know, crazy, right? Okay, so the human calculator is the same guy as basketball guy. It, so he's not. He's changing the calendar, and now he's saying he's invented basketball. No, he didn't say he invented no, basketball. But a guy from his hometown of Herkimer, New York, invented basketball. Well, I heard that there was a high school teacher that had a really bad class, or there and it was a PE teacher, but he he nailed peach baskets to the wall and they had and they had balls and whoever put the ball in the peach basket they did have well they did have peach baskets but i don't think he was a teacher he we worked at the ymca but he might have been oh, maybe, maybe he was but they were throwing cabbage into baskets and then the baskets broke so they decided okay we need to create like a rim so they used the low like in herkimer new york they got the local um silversmith or not no, no what do you call it uh blacksmith yeah, blacksmith, that's right, to create a rim. So now they just had rims to go through. And then they realized, shoot, we need like a curtain or something below it so we can see if the ball actually went through. So his mother knitted the first net and hooked it to the bottom of the rim. And that's that was the first basketball hoop. That's huge. I know. That's insane. So anyway, you guys, look that up. Let me know. Comment down below if you guys know anything about this. It was so interesting. Po I've discovered podcasts now, thanks to Ryan. I am pretty excited about about podcasts. I think I'm just going to drive in my new car and listen to podcasts from That's now huge. on. Mm -hmm. I love you. Good night, sweet dreams. Nice. See you in the morning, baby. It's good to see you, baby doll. Thank I missed you. you. Nice to see you, too. You've been gone for a long time. I have been gone for a long time. It was a good trip, though. Very good trip. Excellent. What made you happy? Today? A lot of adventure. Huh? It was a lot of adventure. Visiting a lot of people, getting a lot of stuff done. It was awesome.
I can't wait to go back. It was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> what made you happy today, babe? Well, thank you for asking. What made me happy today was having you get home safely. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'm um, Katie muscling through uh, pole vault practice that she didn't want to go to. She had a full day of truly practice and all that stuff. So she muscled and a through. Havoc, right? She had a havoc. And ended up uh, doing doing great. So I'm proud of her. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Very good. All right, you guys, what made me happy today was getting home again safe and sound and just a beautiful drive. It was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Comment below made you guys happy today. We cannot wait to hear. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.